Okay, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to pull off this here camshaft cover. I've already taken the bolts out. There's 10 of them right here. And uh, also, if you look over here, I've already just went ahead and uh, removed the spark plug wires. And if you look over there, I, will, I went ahead and marked, marked the uh, coil packs. You can see I got one here, four, two, three, just to get the wires out of the way. So the, the plug, the wire, uh, the bolts are out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this here camshaft sensor connector. If you look right down there, you can see this here wire bail. So what you want to do is you push it in, and while you're holding it in, you just take and re release it. Also, this here is the uh, cable going down to the crankshaft sensor. So it's just in little holders here. So we'll just lift them up, get them out of the way. Now, we should be able to just get this off. Now, I've already broken this loose and it was a bear because uh, they had already taken, uh, in the past, somebody had put some gasket sealer around here and it was really stuck on there. So it just save a little bit of time and uh, not seeing me going through the ordeal of removing that. Hey, one thing, uh, one thing more I wanted to mention before I move on to the next step here is uh, the bolts here for the camshaft cover. There was 10 of them as I mentioned, but I forgot to mention that it's, uh, take, uh, it's an 8 millimeter, 10 of them. Okay, we're getting ready to uh, start disassembling components around the head here. I thought the first thing I might try to do is uh, go ahead and remove the fuel injector rails. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the incoming fuel supply connector right here. Now what you want to do is you see this little white piece right here? You want to get your screwdriver, kind of pry it out, maybe push back on the back side, but basically this here white insert is going to go back out this way to try to release this thing. So let me see if I can just kind of get in there to work this thing back and forth. Okay, we got a hold of it. So. Just go ahead and pull it back, okay? Okay, now once you get the, uh, the white insert back, you might take you a screwdriver maybe. Mine, it was a little stuck here, so just kind of push back on it, twist it a little bit, and kind of work it back. You see we got a little bit of gas coming out. All right, so we just let him sit right there. Now I'm gonna just kind of push him back in there. Just kind of, you can see now how this thing looks. Okay, now we're going to remove the uh, connectors off the fuel uh, injectors. Uh, just show you how this is done. You see this here gray part of the connector? Just take it and grab it and pull it straight up. All right, now if you look right down on the very, very top, you can see that these two, two pieces of plastic in the middle. So what's going to happen is we take it and we push it in with the gray part of the connector, push it in, and while you push it in, this thing should just slide right off. Okay, as you can see, all of the connectors have been removed now. I have a tie wrap right here that's tying the harness to the rail, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that. Just get that out of the way. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna separate this connector from the uh, harness here for the fuel injectors. So what we do here, you see the little, you see the little tab right there. So what you want to do is push down, and when you push it down, push it down, and while you're holding it down, then it should separate. Okay, over here, now we want to disconnect this here connector off of the uh, idle air control assembly motor here. And what we should have is a, there should be a tab right in here in the inside. So on that one, we should be able to lift it up, I think it is, and then while we're holding this, while we're holding this tab up, then we just slide it right off. Okay, uh, the fuel injector rail has two bolts. One is right here, and one is right here. 10 millimeter socket will take care of removing them. There's one, 
on behalf of number two. Okay, now in the fuel rail, there's old rings that holds the fuel injectors down into the intake bores where it's gonna shoot down onto the intake valve. So what you gotta do, is just grab your hands on both sides and just work it back and forth, slowly, slowly, by a little bit, not, don't move it too much out of the way, and then just kinda move it straight up. So I've already got it broken loose. And the only thing, like I said, is holding is just these old rings right here. So you might have to move it, it might be a little snug, but you can see they'll come right on out. Okay, I think of what uh, take off next, we'll take this uh, coil pack off. Uh, so we got a connector right here. Now, if you look right, feel, you ain't gonna be able to see it, but uh, if you take your finger, put right up underneath, you'll feel a catch or tab. So what you wanna do is kinda go straight, straight down, pull it down just slightly, and then while you are pulling it down, just pull the connector right off. Now you can see it. So basically what you want to do, like I said, is you want to pull this straight down and while you hold it down, then pull straight back. Okay, there's three bolts holding this here coil pack on. One is here, 10 millimeter, same as the bottom. There's two. One is located right about under here under this coil pack and there's another one located underneath this coil pack. All right, there's one of them, just so you can see the bolt there, just so to see the length. There's number two. And you can probably see the other one right down here. There's number three. And there's our coil pack so you can get a shot of it. Okay, Josie, I know how you like to be a mechanic, so this is what we just took off a while ago, so you can get a good sniff of it, so you can learn what that is, okay? Okay, we're going to disconnect the connector for the EGR valve here. And uh, you can see the little tab, so you just got to lift it back a little bit, and while you lift it back, it should just ease itself right back off, okay? Okay, now we're going to remove the connector from the engine coolant temperature sensor. Again, here's your tab. Lift it back slightly, and while you hold it back, just slide it right out. Okay, uh, I'm on, we're on the other side of the uh, engine, towards the front of the engine right now. Uh, as you remember, this was a fuel injector harness. This, uh, the longer cable here, goes to the camshaft sensor, which is right over here right over here. And uh, this one right here goes down to the crankshaft sensor. So I think I'll go ahead and remove this one again. You got a wire bail, push it in. While you hold it in, it should separate. So there it is. Then we'll take him and we'll just lay him off to the side over here. Okay, uh, looks like we have the, the uh, alternator. This, uh, the bracket is attached to the head, so uh, we're, gonna do, we're gonna just go ahead and take this bracket off and get the alternator on out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this here harness out of the way. So I'm gonna just slide the panel removal tool here up underneath, lift up. 
just pop that out of the way. Okay, I'm on the alternator right now, so I'm going to remove the connector. If you look, I got a flat blade screwdriver. And what I'm going to do, if you look right down here, there's a little slot in the tab. So you put the screwdriver in the slot, pull back, and then while you pull back, we should be able to get this here connector off of this here alternator. Okay, so there she is. All right. All right. I'll just look, throw him off to the side. Okay, uh, on the very bottom of the alternator here, does a uh, there's a bolt. It's a 14 millimeter head on it. So we're gonna just break him loose. Okay, now that he's broken a loose pretty good, then I'm going to come up here on the top. And I'm going to get this bolt here, we're going to get this bolt here, and I believe there's one right here. So we're going to work on those three. Okay, on top of the alternator for the bracket here, the three bolts I mentioned there are 12 millimeter. Okay, then once you get the three bolts out, then it's just, uh, there's the three bolts so you can see what they look like. Okay, and then it's just, uh, take it right out. All right, we have a bracket that's running from uh, the alternator, going back to the back, connected to the back of the throttle body. There's two bolts, they're 12 millimeter. Take note that there's uh, the ground strap right here goes between the throttle body and this bracket. So there it is right there. So that's how it goes, just like that. Now we'll get over here. We'll remove this one here. And you can take note, this is how this is how it goes on. It's got a little curve there. Okay, I want to give you a shot of the uh, alternator. I got, you know, the two brackets. We got them off. And it looks like we don't have to actually remove the alternator, so I just got it swung out of the way. I left this bolt right down here in place. And also, what I found out is that this bolt does not have, does not go into a threaded boss or anything. It actually has a nut. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see this, but... Uh, yeah, if you can see it right down there, that is actually a nut um, that's holding this bolt in. So okay, I'm going to get ready to drain the coolant, so I'm under the car now. And I'm uh, on the passenger side of the car, and here is the drain plug that I'm pointing to right there. It's got a little T-cross in it there. This thing is plastic, so you got to be careful with that. Okay, here's the... Uh just give you a sh uh, shot of what the uh, drain plug looks like on the radiator. Okay, all of this plastic. Well, I thought this would be a good time for uh, 
closing out this part of the video while the coolant is uh, draining and this way I'll just let it, it's getting kind of late at night so I'm just going to let it drain overnight and uh, just pick it up uh, tomorrow morning. So stay tuned, it's an ongoing saga.